गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू फाइन आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन सो टूडे डेट इज इलेवेंथ अप्रैल 2023. Children, you already go through divide, subtraction, multiplication, and sum. So let's discuss about today divisibility, divisibility rules. What are divisibility rules? Divisibility rules. So start with two. How you can divide two? Yeah, we can divide two with any number, regard four. Two two ja four remainder is zero. This is a small number. You can easily divide. But in case of a large number, like six three four five eight, divide by two. You can divide it in this same process, but it's a long process. Two three ja six. Then we can take another number three two one ja two. Our remainder is one. Now coming to the next number four, two seven ja fourteen, remainder is zero. Now we take another number five, two two ja four, our remainder is one. Then take another number eight, eighteen. So eight, the number becomes eighteen, two nine ja eighteen. So this is a long process. So we are not go through this process. We take the unit digit. When the unit digit of any number ends with zero, two, four, six, eight. The number must be divided by two. Again, children, the number whose unit digit ends with zero, two, four, six, eight. The number must be divided by two. Here we clearly see the number four. The number ends with four. Here we clearly look the unit digit, which is eight. We must we earlier discuss about zero, two, four, six, eight. The number here ends with eight. So eight must be divided by two. So this number is also divided by two. Now coming to the next divisibility rule three. Now divisibility of three. What? How you can divide the three? So you can divide in the previous previous algorithm, but it is a long process. So sum of digits, sum of digits, divide by three. Then number must be divided by three. You can take here nine, three, two, four. We take a number. Here is some of the digits. Nine plus three plus two. Here we got another two digit number. So here we can again apply the sum of digit one plus eight, which equal to nine. Children, we can easily divide nine by three. In compare with nine thousand three hundred twenty-four, this is a time-consuming, and you can also remember easily sum of digits. Yeah, you can call it digital sum also. Digital sum. So we can recall this. What is divisibility rule of three? The sum of digits when divided by three, then you can call it the number must be divided by three. So now coming to the divisibility of four. Here, the last two digit of a number. Last two digit of a number divided by four. The number must be divisible by. For instance, here we take the number one seven two eight. Here we clearly see last two digits. Here twenty eight. You know the table of four. Four seven ja twenty eight. Here twenty eight is divided by four. Four seven ja twenty eight. So the number also divisible by four. Now coming to the next divisibility rule, which is five. Have you written this? We can again recall divisibility of three. Means sum of digits. When sum of digits of a number is divided by three, the number must be divisible by three. Now coming to the divisibility of four, the last two digits of a number is divided by the four. Then the number must be divisible by four. Here we have an example one two seven one seven two eight. Another example two three four four eight. Here we can check the last two digits forty eight. This number we can check here forty eight. This is time-consuming as compared to we can divide this whole number. We can easily divide four one ja four. Then we can take another number eight four two ja eight. So remainder is zero. So we can clearly see four forty-eight is divisible by four. So the number must be divisible by four. 